thanks for joining us. This is the second of our sessions in um, the Smart Savings Virtual Event about scholarships for international students. And we'll be introducing in this session two of our fantastic liberal arts institutions. We have uh, Carroll University, Oscar from Carroll University um, over there, and then we'll have Whittier College um, represented by Shim. So without further ado, let's get into it. Just a quick reminder, any questions in the Q&A, please, um, and we'll answer them at the end. So Oscar, over to you. Wonderful. Okay, well, I'll... Um... I'll go ahead and share my screen right away so we can get started, 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 started. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Oscar, uh, Oscar and I'm an in international, international Admissions oh, Counselor at Oscar, 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 we've got some echo, 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 echo. echo. Oh, there's an echo. Oh, there's an echo. Oh, there's an echo. Oh, there's an echo. I uh, wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why. Uh, 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 let me see. Let me see. Here, here, here. I'm actually going to go ahead and share my screen without the sound and see if that works. Okay, are you better now? Yeah, okay, perfect. So, um, my name is Oscar and I'm the um, Assistant Director of International Enrollment here at Carroll University. We're a small liberal arts university in Waukesha, Wisconsin. And um, I'm here to just talk a little bit quickly about our programs, and then right after that, we're going to go into all the all the fun stuff, the scholarships, um, and all of that. Let me see if I okay. So let's start with some fast facts. Um, Carroll University has about three thousand five hundred students total, so it's a fairly small university, um, and about twenty seven hundred of them are undergrad, and the rest are either graduate students or master or master students or, or doctorates and about a hundred um 120 international students on campus right now from about 35 different countries um and due to the size of this university we have about 21 students in each class so if you go into nursing um and some of those bigger programs you might um end up in a little bit bigger class but Generally, across the majority of our majors, you're going to have about 20 students and a faculty um, member with a PhD in leading that whole class. So we don't have any kinds of teacher teaching assistants at all. It's all with our faculty. Um, for our BA degrees, we don't have any kinds of second language requirements whatsoever. So we we recognize that you already speak your second language in English. Um, so um, we're able to waive that completely for you. And we're actually currently working on granting credits based on your English proficiency score as well. Um, we'll get into a little bit more about the scholarships later, but every single Shorelight student gets a guaranteed scholarship upon acceptance um, and um, we also have a work study scholarship that we'll get into a little bit later 26 of our programs can be completed in, in three years it's a little bit of an increased workload but um, with the carol 3 program you're able to degree uh, decrease the the cost of your degree with 25% by just completing three years instead of four. So you don't have to pay housing or tuition for that fourth year. Um, and we do have several STEM um, approved degrees. So you can have your STEM OPD after. We have applied physics, pre-engineering, um, biochemistry, chemistry, computer science, mathematics, aviation science and drone technologies, one of my personal favorites, and video game design. Um, we also have one out of 14 annual behavior programs um, in the country that specializes on um, in the same field as we are. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit later too, but as an international student, you're able to um, actually adopt a dog during your time here and train that dog in the animal behavior program. Super cool. We have some dogs walking around on campus every day. Okay, so because my sound is a little um, strange right now, I'm not going to be able to show this video, but um, 
um, our colleagues at Shorelight has uploaded all of those videos in the um, portal and uh, been able to share those videos as well. But if you go into our website at carolu.edu, you're able to see a bunch of our international students and current uh, and domestic students kind of share their experience about being, an, uh, being a student on campus. Right, so this is our 95 different academic programs. Um, our most popular, I would say, is the animal behavior program, the biology program, business administration, business economics, criminal justice, exercise science, psychology, and nursing. Nursing is, we have 100% NCLEX um, pass rate right now. So uh, if you're coming in as a nursing student, it's a great program, um, the top in Wisconsin, actually. <clears throat> but my personal favorite, new for this year, is aviation science and drone technologies, where you actually, within your first semester, can become a FAA license uh, drone pilot. And then um, you get straight into learning how to develop the sensors for the program and for the drones and um, um, all kinds of fun stuff as well. So um, I also wanted to bring up um, the Sullivan School of Business Technology. This building um, actually doesn't work right now, it doesn't exist right now. It is a parking lot, but we've um, just secured funding for a new business school at Carroll. So if you come to Carroll as an international student this semester, you're actually going to be one of the first students in your sophomore year to um, become a business student in that school. And one of the exciting things about it is we have a, um, there's a rumor about a Shark Tank type um, scholarship program there where you can present your your business idea and essentially get it um, judged by by different uh, businesses local businesses local uh, professionals and, uh, and get it off the ground same thing there we have accounting business administration business economics finance healthcare administration management and leadership and marketing great programs to double major in or even to finish in three years, as I mentioned before. Okay, so in lieu of time, um, I wanna give some time to Shem as well, but um, at Carol, you are guaranteed a scholarship on acceptance. So every single Shoreline um, student will get $25,000 every single year of their degree, um, as long as they're accepted to the university. And, um, as you can see on, on Sherlock's portal, uh, 2.5 GPA, IELTS is a 6, um, Duolingo 105, PT 50, um, TOEFL is 70, and 2.5 GPA, and you get that Sherlock scholarship. And as long as you keep your GPA uh, uh, at a 2.5 or higher, you get it throughout your whole degree. You also get a work study scholarship for $2,800 a year that is guaranteed per student. So um, as long as you want a job on campus, we will give it to you um, through the athletic department, through the um, bio, um, biology department, library, business department, all over. You're guaranteed it, so let us know where you want to work, and we'll try to get you in there. I also need some international students to work in my department, so hope hopefully you can work with me. Um, and this is all of our additional scholarships. Unfortunately, for fall of 2024, most of these um, deadlines have passed, but for next year, we have a full tuition scholarship for all of our international students to apply for. We have engineering, we have science scholarships, we have photo, esports, all kinds of different scholarships. However, opportunity scholarship is still open and you can apply by April 1st. So you can send in your application through Shorelight uh, as soon as you can, and we accept you. You can still apply for the opportunity scholarship um, until um, April 1st, and um, that is anywhere between, it depends on your financial picture, but it's anywhere between $1,000 and $8,000 additional on top of your $25,000. So 
definitely recommend to send in an application as soon as you can. And um, we are happy to, uh, to work with you. Okay, that was me. Um, please check out the, um, the videos that Shorelight uploaded about our campus. Um, and I will give it up and give it over to Shim so he can share about his school as well. Thanks, Oscar. All right, I'm going to share my screen. Are you guys able to see the screen? Yes. All right, OK. Hi guys, so my name is uh, Shem. I'm the uh, Director of International Admissions um, here at Whittier College. Um, Whittier is uh, based in Los Angeles County. Um, it's about 18 miles downtown uh, from LA. Uh, Whittier was founded in 1887. It's a Quaker college, so it's been around for a while. It's a private liberal arts college. Uh, offering both undergrad and uh, grad programs. Um, predominantly, we offer bachelor's degree programs. Um, most of our master's programs are in education and um, teaching. It's, you thought Carroll University was small uh, with uh, their students. We are only about 1400 students. So extremely small, the size of the student body. But the campus itself is quite large. It's about, I'd say, 75 to 80 acres going up the hills. Uh, my favorite spot on campus is the Science and Learning Center on the rooftop. You, from one side, you can see the Hollywood sign, and the other side, you can see downtown LA. Uh, it's a pretty nice uh, scene there on a clear day. Um, our student body uh, is comprised of about I'd say 1,100 American students and the rest are international students coming from about 37 different countries. So a fairly large international population compared to uh, for us being a small school uh, or about 120 international students. So we're very proud of that fact. Um, we have about 37 different majors that we offer. Uh, primarily in humanities, social sciences, STEM. Um, one of my favorite uh, programs is our film program, filmmaking. Um, we have uh, really cool internships where our students go to Hollywood. Um, we also have people from Hollywood who come and watch and scout our students in their film program. Uh, if you go into our notable alumni, you'll see some Oscar winners, some Grammy winners. So we are very proud of that program. We also have some cool programs like kinesiology, sports science, um, and the, the typical uh, popular programs such as business, computer science, um, and also theater is one of our uh, well-known programs where many of our students perform, put on a performance every three weeks or so. We have our own theater on campus. Um, the 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 plays are being watched by not just by the Whittier College community but the surrounding community here of Whittier City as well. Um, in addition to that, we offer pre-professional programs, very popular as well. Pre-med is one of our keystone programs. Uh, an interesting stat is that eighty six percent of students who complete our pre-med program get accepted into top medical programs in the country. It's one of the facts that make Whittier really, really popular amongst that community. Um, we also have 3-2 programs. Now, 3-2, it's a five-year program where we have partnered with some well-known universities such as USC, University of Southern California, which is not too far away from us, where students come and do their first three years of the engineering degree here at Whittier. Upon completion of the three years, they then transfer out to USC and they do two years over at USC, at the end of which they actually get two degrees. 
one from Whittier and one from USC. So it's not a dual degree, but two degrees in partnership with USC. This is a program that we're really, really proud of for a school like um, Whittier to be uh, accepted by University of Southern California. Uh, it, I think is testament to how solid an undergrad performance that Whittier puts on. Um, so we're very proud of that. Um, I know I'm running through this quite fast because I want to keep it compact and open uh, the forum for questions and answers. Um, Sholite has negotiated a very good scholarship uh, for its students with Whittier. There's a guaranteed scholarship of $30,000 a year, which is renewable every year up to the duration of the program, provided students maintain a passing grade. So $30,000 of the top of uh, the tuition um, is guaranteed for admissible students through uh, short light. Um, I'm just gonna open, uh, zoom in a little bit. So typically, uh, annually, student would be looking at paying $51,000 uh, for tuition, health insurance, student body fee, and all those fees included. But with the, sh the scholarship that Shorelight has negotiated with us, it takes away 21, you know, it comes down to $21,000, which is quite a good chunk of your bill. Um, in addition to that, we also will be providing students with a housing grant of $2,000 a year which will be applicable to students who live on our campus. We have six very beautiful dormitory buildings on campus. So none of our dorms are off campus. Everything is within uh, the Whittier campus vicinity and surrounding. And given that we live in one of the most expensive cities, LA is one of the most expensive cities in the US, the college not only subsidizes the housing, but also offers this additional $2,000 per student per year to take that burden, financial burden away from you. Um, typically, these are the uh, room rates. So we have triple rooms, double rooms, and single rooms on campus. Obviously, uh, single rooms are more expensive than double, and doubles more expensive than uh, triple. So typically, it works out around $8,000 for a double room per year, which I would say is not bad for a city like LA. And then all, from that $8,000, you, you'll get $2,000 paid by Whittier College every year. Uh, we also would guarantee uh, a work-study program where we'll pay you $2,000 a year to work on campus. Um, typically, if you're not on a work-study program, Whittier College pays $16 an hour for our student workers. Students are allowed to work 18 hours on campus campus. Just to sort of give you an idea of how much students can make and have been making, if you work 10 hours in a, a week, you'd make about $640 a month. If you work 15 hours a week, you'll make about $960 a month. And if you work 18 hours a week, you'd make about $1,100 a month. Um, in my office alone, we have about, I'd say, 25 to 30 student workers. So in the admissions office where they do any jobs from giving campus tours, providing information sessions, or you know, behind uh, the desk, data entry and stuff like that. So there are really exciting jobs. Or you could work on one of our athletic, uh, alongside one of our athletic coaches. Um, so lots of opportunities on campus. Given that we are a small campus, opportunities are in abundance. And I think being small is one of our biggest advantages. I mean, as an international student, you're looking at about 10 students to a professor in a class where it get pretty much guarantees having a very intimate relationship with uh, not just your uh, classmates, but also with the professors and staff alike, which can be a huge advantage for any student. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, thank you for listening to me and I look forward to taking some questions from you guys. I think we've been we've been answering questions on the Q and A, but if uh, if folks had something additional, you're uh, you're welcome to uh, raise your hand and come off mute. Though I can say there's a fair amount of excitement about these schools, um, and uh, 
people looking for for further information already. So. We do have uh, one question, Oscar. Uh, well, actually a couple of questions. Uh, yeah. Um, so when it comes to, uh, when it comes to transfer students, they receive the same scholarship. So um, if you're transferring from either a university outside of the US or a university within the US, you will also get the $25,000. Um, same thing there, um, you have to meet the, the min minimum requirements of 2.5 GPA. Um, and uh, if you have completed, if you study in the US, if you completed an English class, um, then we're most often be able to uh, waive that English proficiency exam as well, um, since you've already proven your English proficiency. Any other last questions from the group? I think then Jenna will uh, will probably thank our our uh, our panelists and um, audience members and uh, go ahead and, and just. Yeah, just to remind it to everyone as well, we will send out, you'll get access to all of the recordings um, after the event finishes um, in about 25 minutes. Um, so you can go back and look at things, um, sure lighters, we can um, share more information and slides as well. Um, if there's particular universities or programs that you're interested in. So thank you, everybody. Um, and we've got two more sessions left in the event. We've got, you can choose either to learn about student loans um, or we've got um, the University of Dayton presenting on um, summer start options, which is um, where they get big discounts for starting in summer. So uh, thanks everyone again, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks, Jim and Oscar, for, for joining us. For having us. <laughs>